Hello! Welcome to the Hoenn region! This is the Route to Victory Road, a podcast that chronicles our journeys through the main series titles of the Pokemon franchise. I'm your host, Pokemon Professor Mackenzie, and I'm joined today, as always, by my wonderful partner and co-host, Jaylee. Hey, Mackie! Hey, Pokemaniacs! How's it going? Hello, everybody! Welcome to Friday. End of the week! End of the week! Best time of the year. Everyone is so excited. We are coming up to the end of Ruby and Sapphire. Wow. This is Gym 7. we got two weeks to go. This is the grind. It's grinded out time, especially Mm -hmm. because we have to... We really got to grind out these last couple episodes. We have a lot of things that we're doing in in this next month, so we got to get these out. So as soon as we're done recording, it's back to playing. Yeah. And we are very quickly coming up on the end of this game. This was a long leg. Next leg is pretty long, too. Or as in my recollection, it's kind of long getting to the last city. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, and we just got dive, which means that, and the ability to use it, which means that we have like a lot more map available to us because now we can go under the water. Oh, And under the fun. water is like a map into itself. Oh, really? So, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Like, get ready. There's treasure ready. hunting and all this <gasps> other stuff. Yeah. We can hunt for treasure. We can yeah. be pirates. Pretty much everywhere is uh, available to us now since we have all the HMs. Right. Okay. We can do anything and go anywhere. And it's almost time. We're adults now? For us to face off. By this time in the last games, we had our box legendaries. Oh, no. But this game started a trend that is going to continue into the next infinitum (laughs) uh where the box legendaries are going to not become our friends until after the seventh gym so Uh, what so we don't get the legendaries we do not yet yeah right away that's what i'm saying is that for the next couple generations get used to at this point in the game like moving forward now next week we go and try and find our box legendaries Oh boy. Yeah. That's exciting. And we either have them for the 8th gym or just after the 8th gym. I'm pretty sure my legendary is ugly though. Uh, yeah, neither of our legendaries are particularly attractive. Oh. <laughs> In the conventional sense, let's say. Conventional Pokemon. Mine's, mine's a big whale and yours is like an armadillo, I think. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. But before we talk Pokemon, we are going to do a little bit of a game corner. A little bit of a game corner. So we've been playing a few games. A few games here and there. (laughs) Tina's. On the days we're not playing the Pokemon. Tina's a little bit. A little bit. Mostly the forest. Mostly Sons of the Forest. Yes, Sons of the Forest. Because Mac loves building and I am chopping down trees for him. (laughs) <laughs> I feel like that's all I do I, in that game is just chop trees and get attacked. I feel bad, but once once we have, because uh, right now I'm building a tram system that's going to connect all of our bases that we've built so far. It's ridiculous. We're going all over the map, building houses and building bases, and Mac is connecting them. Through zip lines. Zip lines. And it's really fun. Yeah. So once, once that tram but, is connected... Yeah. And, and fully functional in a year's time we're i'll have the done. whole i'll have the whole map chopped down by then we're almost we're almost there we yeah, but then we need to go make all more bases. bases we need to go in the mountains oh yeah of course yeah well, okay. we'll eventually make more bases but i just wanted it to make to make it faster for us to get around and it's and pretty fun it's working out once the tram is completed then we can go back to exploring because we'll we'll have all the items that we needed and and we'll be able to to move on uh it's blizzard nice yeah yeah no it is it's pretty fun i just feel like i've put in what 16 17 hours of chopping down trees yeah yeah I feel bad. my eyes need a break well you do the building i'll i'll chop trees no way i can't do the building we just got a new axe makes it easier I, I hope i'll just play bodyguard you keep building and i'll play bodyguard and beat all the baddies <laughs> And uh, finally, we completed season four of The Mentalist. <gasps> the Mentalist. Oh, my God. I want to name all my Pokemon Mentalist characters. Like, I'm so in love with the show. I never used to watch TV until you moved in. And yeah. we watch TV all the time. But I never used to really watch TV. And well, I'm an actor, so that's really bad for me to say. But... <laughs> No, I never got into any kind of TV shows here and there once in a while, but not 
religiously. Like, we watch the show. Well, it's a good show. It's really, really good. And we're getting to... I don't know. We've been told that the rest of it is not good, so... Yeah, we got three more seasons. I have my hopes up, though. I want some romances to kind of blossom. Jewish. Yeah, I'm a hopeless romantic, so watching this is really fun. And I like... I like kind of like romance writing and just really cute things that are that's happening in the show and I can see where it's going and some of it is really good writing. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. Good. Consistent camera work. Uh, sorry, I slurped you. <laughs> I slurped my teeth. Yeah, it's pretty good. Consistent camera work. So. That's... I'm not a fan of the filler episodes. Like I hate the little one-off episodes that really don't give anything to the story and it's kind of annoying. Like the one where Jane had a concussion and from getting hit in the head by a baseball, remember? Yeah, very random. But I don't mind bottles, but you're right, it's... I just want to see the story. Yeah. Character development, please. Story plot thicken. Catch Red John. Yeah, and that's my take on The Mentalist. (laughs) Should we talk about Pokemon? Yes, please. So as I was saying earlier today, we have a little bit of a stretch to go through. We are making our way from Fortree City to Moss Deep City this week. Or we made, I guess. No, mm-hmm. we are making because we already did it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. But uh, we head out from Fortree City where we fought with Winona. And I don't know if I mentioned this last week i can't remember at this point but i did get the cast form but i didn't give it a nickname because i'm not going to use it right at the weather institute i i, I received you did it get him i okay. just never i'm not going to use him so i put him in the box right away <laughs> i ended up boxing mine yeah he was kind of useless yeah i think you tried him for a little bit right? i did yeah i tried to see what he was all about but no yeah we saw him in action this this week along this next route route 120 yeah one of the didn't uh, leave an impression no one of the uh, characters with the parasol they had had one i believe but on route 120 i came across a few pokemon who i caught oh yeah so route tell. 120 is the route where we met with steven initially who gave us the devon scope uh, he was standing on the bridge, gives us the Devon scope, then we double back and go to the For- Fortree City gym. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I went down into this grass that's beside the river there, and I ran into another Kecleon. Did you? Did you get him? Yeah, I caught him. Woohoo! Uh, his name is Mimic You. Mimic You? Mimic You. Cute. Because yeah. he's, he's the color change. Because so. he changes. Yeah, and also it's a Pokemon's name, so that's funny. It is. M I M M I M I C, and then space, and then the letter U. That's cute. Mimic U. I like it. And the I also ran into an Absol in the grass here. I don't know if you've come across them. I haven't seen them yet, but I know what that one is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've showed it to me in the past. So I caught Absol as well. One of my one of my favorite Pokemon's. Really? Yep. Maybe uh, that's why I know it. It's a dark type. And I named it Emo Man. <laughs> he is emo. I love it. <laughs> that's cute. And then I went fishing here. And the only thing of interest I caught, because everything else was magic carps, I caught a Goldeen who I caught and named Goldeen. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's the name that it deserves. <laughs> I'm not going to use Seeking, so. No. 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 Nah. Did you Fish. run into anything on Route 120? So no, I didn't catch anything on Route 120, but I did catch a Duskull on Route 121. Oh, okay. That was the first thing I caught. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so then we'll just talk about the people that we find on this route. Yeah. Uh, nothing interesting for Pokemon on this route other than Absol. Absol is the only new Pokemon on this route. Everything else we've come across before. I was looking for a Barbouch when I caught the Goldeen. You love Barbouch. Yeah, but I couldn't find it. Uh, it. It's supposed to have a pretty good chance of finding, but for some reason it was like 
20 magic carps and one single goldine oh and i was like okay i'm out of here (laughs) not worth it i didn't Uh, come across an absol i'll have to go back so the trainers here are parasol lady clarissa who i beat last week and i think you beat last week and then interviewers gabby and ty who i ran into last week but you ran into this week the best people in the world gabby and ty and this time they have a magneton and a loud rid and i think i remember you had trouble with magneton this week yeah i did yeah it's a tough pokemon the steel typing he's very strong yeah and on the double battles I think I had my weak Pokemon up front because I was training them, so then they just got sent out. Oh, no. Yeah, so it was pretty lame battle, and I don't remember the word I used when they interviewed me again, or if they interviewed me again, but I probably wrote something negative. That's a good point. I don't remember what I told them either. I told them romantic last time, but uh, fabulous. Fabulous. I, I I said fabulous this time. I didn't write down my words because I was angry. (laughs) That's okay. We'll find out. If you see my interview, tell me what I said. Oh, yeah. We'll have to mix records again. Okay. Then we run into Bird Keeper Robert, who's got a Swablu. Easy peasy. Yeah. Bird Keeper Colin, who has a Natu and a Swallow. I noticed this a lot, is a lot of the Bird Keepers are starting to have Swallows and Pelipers. And the Pelipers... They are birds. That's true, but, like, there are other birds. (laughs) Other than Swallow? Are you kidding me? I haven't seen any. Where, where's the, where are the Pidgeys and the Spearows and stuff like that? They don't have to be from Hoenn. They're back in Generation 1. Yeah, apparently. But Natu's here. Natu's from Generation 2. Oh. Parasol Lady Angelica. Oh, yeah. Has a cast form. Yeah. This is where we this saw cast form. This is where I form. saw it because I like Angelica. We have another... It's a good, good solid name. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. I wonder why, too. It's a mystery. It's okay. Don't break kayfabe. Of course not. <laughs> we never break kayfabe. Uh, we've run into another talking tree, Ninja Boy Tsuna. Uh, this one actually scared me. Tsuna, yeah. Because I don't think I had to talk to it. I think I just walked by it and he jumped and he out. he jumped out? He never jumped out of the other ones. I actually had to talk to the trees before. But He has a Ninkata, a Coughing, and a Ninjask. Yes. Ninkata, a Mac, and a Ninjask. Ninkata, a Mac, and a Ninjask. Yep. Cool trainer Jennifer had a Milotic, who mm-hmm. I was like, wow, that's a really cool Pokemon. That's, wow. That's Are amazing. we best friends now? A <laughs> uh, Pokemon Ranger Jenna. Wow, that's kind of funny. Wait, what? Yeah. There's a Jenna? Did Along the same route. <laughs> Along the same route. I didn't run into Jenna. Oh, okay. She sounds amazing, though. She yeah. She sounds pretty cool. She is pretty cool. She has a low tad, a lombre, and a nuzleaf. <laughs> That's not right. Something's <laughs> wrong in the coding. Because if I know Jenna's, they would not have those Pokemon. And a Pokemon Ranger... I was going to say Mackenzie to, to really throw you for yeah, a loop, I but I like, accidentally no. misspoke and said his actual name, which is Carlos. Carlos, Pokemon Ranger, Carlos McKenzie. Carlos, who had a C-Dot, a nuzleaf, and a lombre, so the exact Blech. opposite of Jenna. Uh, and then Bug Maniac Brendan has a Surskit, a Surskit, and a Surskit. <laughs> Very nice. I was just tearing through these guys. Oh, yeah. Very simple. I don't remember running into... <clears throat> Jenna. Jenna or... Um, they were in the grass. Remember there was like the I little grass maze? Them. The very tall grass. Yeah. So they were at the ends. Like if you were, if you followed the the path to the right or left, they were like at the ends of the oh, path. Yeah, okay. that's probably you probably just went straight down probably the middle. Have, yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you went down the the way there, you would have met the Pokemon Rangers. Uh, Ninja Boy Kago was hanging out down here as well, and another guy by the name of Rune Maniac Chip. I don't remember him either. No. He kind of reminds me of the dad from Tarzan. Tarzan? Yeah, Tarzan, right? Tarzan doesn't have a dad. He was raised in... No, 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 no but Jane's old, dad. Like the old guy? The old guy. The that's old guy the, with yeah. like, the hat? Yeah, that's mm. what the rune maniacs remind me of. Oh. Yeah, the... I forgot that was her father. <laughs> I haven't seen Tarzan in a very long time. Yeah. But, uh... Have you ever seen George of the Jungle? Yeah. Hilarious. Anyway... <laughs> That's Brendan Fraser. George, George, George of the jungle. Like Watch out for that tree. Yeah. Forever. 
forever ago. God, I'm old. I think that's before the mummy. Have you ever I'm seen that sure movie that's the mummy. with? It's not before the mummy, no way. I think so. Absolutely not. The mummy's like ninety eight. What is that movie with? Is it Tim Allen, where his son is like? He picks the name Cat Piss. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hold on. It's a jung- it's a jungly movie. Jungle no, yeah, jungle to jungle. Have you ever I seen this one? I have not seen that movie. No. I've seen this one lots when I was a kid. It's pretty good. Did you ever see Christmas with the Cranks? I don't think so. No, okay. No. Anyway, sorry, sidebar. Um back on track. Yes. Rune Maniac Chip. Jane's father. Jane's father. <laughs> From Tarzan. Uh He has a sand shrew, a sand shrew, and a sand slash. Nope, did not run into him. Easy peasy. Easy, easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah. And that's it for trainers on Route 120. Then we get down to Route 121, and we finally get our first chance to meet the ghosts of this generation. I met a ghost. You can either run into a shuppet, in my case, which is like a little napkin. I found a shuppet. I found a yeah. shuppet like two weeks ago, last week. No, I don't believe so. No, I did. I think it was this week, too. Oh, yeah, he's right there. I see him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I found a shepherd. Yeah. I did, yeah. But you probably found the shepherd in Mount Pyre, which is the, the, the ghost tower, is it? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Okay, but you ran into your ghost. Dust skull. Dust skull. Yeah, I did. And you caught it? I caught it. What's its name? I have to change its name because I got sucked into this. What? I named him Coco. Oh, oh, right, yes, yeah, I remember. Yeah, because it was on stream. Because the instructions were unclear. They're unclear. I was yeah, trying to con- tell people mm, that I was... Fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sheet. Okay, anyway. I was telling people that I was naming them after villains, and the name Coco came out, and I'd never seen that Disney movie. It's Disney, right? Pixar? I don't know. One of them. I've never I think seen that Disney. movie, so I named it Coco, but that's a good guy's name, so I have to change it. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to use him, though. Okay. He's in, he's in the box right now. Yeah. I told you about that he's strong but he's defensive. He's right. not he's not a like attacky. And strong. I like to do damage. I like to yeah. hurt people. So So my <sighs> Shuppet Sorry, okay, say that again. My Shuppet that I caught is named Hokey. Hokey? Yeah. Because I was going to use him with my Cacnea, whose name is Pokey. Oh gosh. And they'd be Hokey and Pokey. That's good for double battles. That's and, really cute. And also Shuppet is a ghost. A ghosts are hokey. Ghosts so are like, hokey. <laughs> it's a double meaning name. I like it a he's lot. He's a dual partner with Cacnea, and he's hokey. He's hokey. He's not real. <laughs> it's fake. I like it. Okay. What did you... You named your dust skull Coco, sorry. Yeah, but he... His name is being taken back, so... Oh, okay. And... Uh, on Route 121... We also run into the safari zone. Yes, we do. I was terrified of another safari zone. <laughs> Mac almost had a heart attack in the last safari zone in the other game. Oh, I thought you were going to be stuck in there for days. Days? Yeah, I went no. in there once. I went in there once as well. Did you catch anything in the safari zone? <laughs> I already know the answer, but tell me. I please. caught two. You caught two, yeah? yeah? I got Pikachu. Yeah. Named Twitch. Yeah. After a villain of League of Legends. That's right. That's right. It's and sticky, so you don't drop it. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Gross. <laughs> I also caught a Vulpix. And? I named it Angelica. Angelica the Vulpix? Yeah, because Vulpix is beautiful and evil and a heel. And Angelica is beautiful and, and evil, evil and, and a heel? heel? Yeah, exactly. And that's all I caught. Nice. Did, what did you catch? I caught. A Wait, oddish. What? How many times did you do the safari zone first? Once. Oh, I'm so proud of you breaking <laughs> the addiction. Okay, you caught an oddish. I caught an oddish. Its name is oddish. Perfect. Fitting. Mm-hmm. Chef's kiss. <laughs> I caught a giraffe rig. Its name is paladin. Because it's a paladin, but it's also a palindrome. So it's paladin. <laughs> okay. Play on words. I like it. I caught a fan pee, and it's Return of Lefant. <laughs> His name is Lefant, Lefant, just like the one that I caught for you last oh, generation. Lefant. 
And I caught a Doduo who I named Carmine, which is the Doduo I had in Generation Call 1. Backs. Yeah. How did you catch so many? I also caught a Natu, sorry, which oh. I named Flitter, un- unlike the one that's, that I had last generation. That's adorable. Flitter? Yeah. Flitter. The How did you catch so many things? All these things kept like breaking out of the balls. I just ran into them and threw safari balls. <laughs> that's all I did too, and I sucked. <laughs> I bet you I just caught them. I don't know. The, the, the hardest one to catch was giraffe rig. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I kept having to like walk closer. You walk? can approach is one of the options. Oh. You can throw a Pokeblock, you can approach, you can throw the ball, or you can flee. And so I just, I, I, I would throw two balls, and if he broke out of both, I would approach. And so it, it, it was like, throw two balls, he breaks out of both, I approach. Throw two balls, he breaks out, I approach. Throw two balls, he breaks out, I approach. And I threw one ball, and then I caught him. And I was like, what the heck was that about? And, and like the whole time, he was like, it's like draft rig watches you warily, or whatever the, the yeah. text is. And I was just like, stay in the ball, dude. I guess I wasn't really <laughs> paying attention. I went in and just like... Threw my balls. Yeah. I didn't do anything else. I was just like, mm, did you, you run out of time or did you run out of balls? Balls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just kept throwing balls at everything and seeing what wanted to come home with me. I ran out my of time. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> you ran out of time? Yeah, I ran out of time. You only have 300 steps or something like that. Oh. Yeah, but I was looking for... Because for, there's some... I don't know if you noticed, but there's like areas in this safari zone. Yeah. Unlike the... The first safari zone, which is like there, there are different areas in the first safari zone, but they're all kind of like the same uh, environment. These are like different environments. Cool. Like, I only stayed in the first one. Okay, that's where you found Pikachu. Yeah. I never even saw a Pikachu. I wanted to catch one, but I didn't mm, see one. Sad. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Just outside of the safari zone, we run into Hex, Hex Maniac Tammy, mm-hmm. who's got a Ralts and a Duskull, Beauty Jessica, who's got a Kecleon and a Savipa, Senior and Junior Kate and Joy, who are the ones that are standing right outside the safari zone. Right. They have a Spinda and a Slacking, and I was like, wow, that is a disparaging difference. Mm. One is a crappy piece of garbage red panda, and the other is a powerhouse of a sloth. Sloth, yeah. yeah. Also, Gucci's sleeping right now, and that's very cute. Aww. Oh, she's like straight up sleeping. She didn't even hear her name. That's amazing. That's so cute. That's so cute. To the right of the safari zone, there is a gentleman, Walter. Mm-hmm. Who's got a manectric? And you, you were like, "What the hell is that thing?" Do you remember? I do. I first thought when I saw the gentleman sprite that it was going to be our friend with the Growlithe. Oh yeah, and he kind of says something similar yeah, too, like he like, travels mm, the world with his Pokemon right. or something. But yeah, his Pokemon was very strange. Yeah, uh, it's like the the blue dog with the yellow mane. It was strange. And, yeah. yeah, that's uh, manectric is is a okay Pokemon in this generation. It's an electric type. I don't know if that was... Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the evolved form of Electrike, the little green dog. The green thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then finally we run into Pokefan Vanessa, who's got a Pikachu. Mm-hmm. And she's like, my Pokemon, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, one shot. <laughs> Down Pikachu goes. Was she the one that was like, you can't leave here without seeing my cute Pokemon? Yeah, something yeah. like that. And I was like, okay, saw it, killed it, now what? <laughs> or, I mean, I was, uh, I, I entertained her with a, a fun battle. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, because you're a good guy. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I don't remember where I ran into this guy, but I just have a note about this. So there was a guy named Pokemaniac Mark. Okay. And I said, I wrote here, Pokemaniac Mark is living Pokemaniac Steve's dream because he's got a lair on. He must be on one of these other routes, but um, lair on is the evolved form of Aaron. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, but I thought the Pokemaniac Steve loved Pikachu. 
No, Pokemaniac Steve was the one who was like, I want a big body. Oh, that guy. Lots okay. of horns and blah, blah, blah. And Laron is that. It's a big body Pokemon with horns and it's tough. And oh. I was like, Pokemaniac Mark here. We should introduce them. He's he's stolen Pokemaniac Steve's dream. <laughs> uh, let's see. The There is a... Oh, did you get Solar Beam in the Safari Zone? Probably not, because no, you didn't. No, I didn't de- go too far. Is that where you in. get Solar Beam? That is where you get Solar Beam. <gasps> Sad day. You also get Sunny Day on Route 120, in in this weird little cave called the Scorched Slab, which I'm sure you didn't go to because I didn't go no. to it. It's it's pretty far off the beaten path. Like you have to go up these hills and get to this weird cave that's like surrounded by a bunch of stones, but there's no Pokemon in the cave. There's just a single item, and it's the Sunny Day TM. Weird. Okay. I have no idea what what the purpose of that is. I wonder if there's like supposed supposed to be some sort of lore thing to it. But anyway, it's got Sunny Day inside of it, and then you go to the Safari Zone just down the street, and you get Solar Beam, and those moves work together. So that's yeah. really funny. Hmm. And we also get a chance at getting uh, Rain Dance, or maybe we already did. Did we already get Rain Dance? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember Rain Dance. Yeah. No, I think we got Rain Dance on. No, we got Ice Beam on the abandoned ship. Yeah. For some reason, I feel like I have Rain Dance, and I don't remember where I got it from. Strange. Anyway, but uh, we also, this week, had a chance to buy Thunder, so I was like, oh, that's cool. We have all of these like move, or, yeah, moves that work together, because Sunny Day makes it so that you can use Solar Beam in a single turn, mm-hmm. And Rain Dance makes Thunder have 100% accuracy. I don't know if you oh, knew that interaction. Nope, but I did not. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So it's cool that we're getting all these like little combos uh, set up. Also this week, we had the chance to grab Hail. I don't know if you did that. Where was it? Uh, in, in Shoal Cave. This one sounds familiar. I think I did. You think you got Hail? Okay. Was this with the guy? The old man? Uh, no, he's I think it's just. Us stuff? I think he's, if you give him like shells, uh, he doesn't give you hail. But I think uh, you can find hail just on the ground in the cave. Okay. Yeah, I he, think I did. He gives you something called the shell bell. Okay. We'll, we'll get to that though. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry for talking ahead. It's okay. Um, after, wait, I'm just gonna double check and make sure that there's nothing else uh, in the safari zone that we need. Uh, I think there's just like calcium. And iron and zinc, which are just like the little proteins and stuff. Yeah, nothing really of note in here. There, there are so many Johto Pokemon though in in the Safari Zone. Oh really? Yeah, you can find like Ladyba and Houndour and stuff like that. Like that's what I was trying to get to, but I ran out of time because I kept fucking around in the grass and grabbing, <laughs> grabbing Pokemon there. Because I was looking for a Heracross. I really wanted a Heracross to take in. Because uh, it's a bug Pokemon, yeah. but I couldn't find it. it. I didn't find anything that I wanted to oh, no. use. Yeah, it was like ah crap. So and I, I changed my strategy after after failing this. But anyway, Route One Twenty Two, just a water route that leads to Mount Pyre, and directly south to Route One Twenty Three. Did this is where this is where Pokemaniac Mark was. Route One Twenty Three. Pokemaniac Mark is in Mount Pyre, sorry. And there you go. Okay. He's got a Laron that you can battle. And uh, that's this thing, if you don't remember. Or maybe you, maybe you didn't face it, but it's that guy. So that's what Aeron turns into. Eventually. Eventually. There's also a young couple Dez and Luke. No, I don't remember these guys. No? No. So they got a Delcaddy and a Minectric. And they're easy peasy, easy peasy. This is the Pokemon Tower equivalent in Hoenn. So it's like the the resting place of of people's Pokemon. There's the one lady who gives you the cleanse tag. Yeah, I did go there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got the cleanse tag from her. Uh, On the third floor of the Mount Pyre, there's Psychic Kayla who's got a Kadabra, and Psychic William, who's got a Ralts and a Curlia. Mm-hmm. Both of them are like, oh, I'm going to read your future. 
you're going to regret this battle or whatever and then you beat them and it's like see now i'm upset don't you regret it or something silly like that (laughs) you wasted your time battling me don't you regret it yeah Yeah. that sort of stuff (laughs) uh again easy peasy uh belt or uh sorry route four oh my gosh the fourth floor Mm -hmm. (laughs) of mount pyre has a uh, black belt at sushi and he (laughs) which is a silly name he's like oh master guide me and then he sends out his fighting type pokemon makuhita macho kariyama this is the first time that we run into hariyama okay i I think i avoided these trainers yeah okay yeah Well, after you beat him, he's like, I'm communing with the spirits of my master or something like that. And it's just like, wow, you're, that's a little weird, dude. (laughs) And then uh, the fifth floor and the sixth floor both have Hex Maniacs. Hex Maniac Tasha on the fifth floor who has a Shuppet and a Kadabra. And Hex Maniac Valerie on the sixth floor with a Sableye. Sableye for the stable guy. Sableye for the stable guy. (laughs) And we get to the top, and we find the TM for Shadow Ball. Yeah, I got that. Which is the strongest yes, ghost type in this game, I believe. I'm pretty sure. It's awesome. It is. It's a cool cool move. And then we fall all the way back down, and we get the Lax Incense, and we get the Wave Incense, and Rich, all that yeah. other stuff that, whatever. It don't matter. Lax Incense gives us access to Munchlax, and the Wave Incense gives us access to Azuril, who is Meryl's baby. So if you breed a Meryl holding a Wave Incense, it'll have an Azuril rather than a baby Meryl. I thought Pokemons didn't have babies. They have eggs. You will find an egg. You will find an egg, but you that know has where an it Azuril comes from. rather than a Because they didn't want to mm-hmm. tackle the birds and bees for children. Anyway. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's the, that's why they avoided it. Nobody knows where babies come from. Uh yeah, the the Pelipper brings it. Anyway. <laughs> cute. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Uh then we have uh Munchlax, so Snorlax holding the lax incense. If you breed it, then its egg will be a Munchlax, Munchlax rather is than a, a baby Snorlax, Snorlax baby. Yeah. No. Yeah. What? could be cuter. <laughs> oh, poor Munchlax. It could be cuter. Yeah. Snorlax is adorable. That, no, that's not Snorlax's baby. I'm sorry. It could be cuter. Hashtag not my Munchlax. <laughs> <laughs> not my baby. <laughs> Once we get to the summit of the uh, Mount Pyre, mm-hmm. we are, run, we run into, uh, What's your guy's name? Maxi. Maxi and Archie. Or Archie. Mm-hmm. Maxi or Archie, depending on the game. Mm-hmm. So you run into Maxi, I run into Archie, and Maxi's friends have three Zubats, a Poochiana, and three Numels. Yeah, they do. And I'm pretty sure the same on my side. Yeah, three three Zubats, a Poochiana, and three Carvanas. How boring. Very boring, very easy to, especially when you have a... Uh, uh, Gardevoir with Thunderbolt just takes out all the Zubats and all the Carvanas. Nice. And uh, then you go up to Maxi and or Archie and they're like, hey, stay out of our plans. Bye. And it's like, no, fight me, And then you they jackass. didn't even fight. Nope. No. They just See, leave. this is why Team Rocket is superior. Team Rocket would have given us a fight. Yeah. But we talked to the old couple who run Mount Pyre and... Uh, the old man gives us something, but I don't remember what it is. What? You're running the show. <laughs> I don't write this stuff down. I said wave incense, but it's actually the sea incense I just found out. <laughs> Research is important, kids. Stay in school. And uh, so you get the red orb in your game. Yeah. And I get the blue orb in my game. And we get a an, an impassioned plea from the couple to stop Magma slash Aqua from right. what they're doing. And it's like, yeah, I was planning on doing that anyway, <laughs> obviously. And uh, so we, we piss off out of there. And we head back down the mountain, down Mount Pyre, to Route 21 again, where we go east. 
and we find Lily Cove City. Yes, we do. I did a lot of surfing and fishing around here. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, did you catch anything? No. Not no? here. No, I didn't. I just, you know, I surfed and I trained, but I didn't catch anything. Okay. Kept running into, like, tentacles. I'm Your not, favorites. I'm not catching it. Your favorites. No, I hate them. Well, we are going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, we'll talk about Lily Cove and later. Welcome back from our break, everybody. Welcome back, Jaylee, Pokemon Master Jaylee, Sylveon Trainer Jaylee. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. Evolution Gym Leader Jaylee. <laughs> Welcome back, Poke fans, and welcome back, Poke Maniacs. Welcome back to you, Professor McKenzie. We get to Lily Cove City, and we realize something's going down because there are magma slash aqua grunts all over town. Yeah. And they're like, don't even talk to us about secret evil plans. And I'm like, okay, I won't. I wasn't interested. I was like, you don't know nothing about secret evil plans because you're not Team Rocket, you wannabes. And I was like, I already know about your evil plans, Dorcas. I'm going to stop you because I'm a hero. Right. Superhero. Superhero. What are you, some kind of superhero or something? something. What? No. Uh, what? Me? Why would you say that? <laughs> uh, I'm just a civilian. I'm just going to put this cape away. But if a superhero were to come around, what would you tell them? <laughs> <laughs> And we check out a few things. There's a motel here. I don't know if you went oh, yeah. into the motel. I went to the motel. Didn't seem to be any rooms in this motel, so I was wondering where people were sleeping. No, but you can do some things after you beat the Elite Four here. Oh, sleep? <laughs> no, not sleep, but you can look around, and oh. there's stuff to do in the motel when, okay. when you beat the Elite Four. Uh, there's a museum. Did you go mm. in the museum? I did go to the museum. I also went to the special part of the museum where there were no paintings. Yeah. That's Is that because, the museum? Yeah. Yeah. That's because you haven't completed any of the contests. Oh, is that why? That's why. They're shoving my, my noobness and my patheticness into my face. Once you complete the contest, you get something. What do you get? What'd you get? No, you have to complete all the contests, oh and I didn't. Oh my lord, I'm not going to do that. Also, a few weeks ago, I said that Slateport is the home of the final contest hall. I lied, I guess. Or we need, I was mistaken. We need a music thing or some kind of sound insert to when you... A correction? A correction, yeah. <laughs> this just in. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, so, Slateport is the hyper rank. Which is the oh third my rank? God. Yes, it's actually here in Lily Cove that has the old the master, master rank, rank, which okay. is is the last contest. Yeah, area. I went into there and I like laughed and I was like, ha 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 ha! I'm not supposed to be here, and I ran away. Yeah, you haven't even beat normal rank yet. I haven't yet. even tried it. No, my swallow is not ready for master rank either. But he's cool. He is cool. He is fairly cool. He's got a lot of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I've been giving him Poke Blocks. Because oh. I was getting him ready for the super rank, but I still haven't got any new moves for him. Oh. Uh, so he's got Fly now, but Fly isn't going to cut it. Fly's not even a cool move, it's a tough move. Oh boy. So I have to find some moves to teach him and take him to the move deleter, who's also in this area. Yes, he is. And get him to get rid of Fly for me. And I'll teach him a bunch of cool moves, and then and then he'll be ready to go for the contest. That sounds fun. Yeah, I do want to take on the contest. I want to get my uh, contest hall rank up, and and then get all the portraits in the uh, in the museum. That's cool. You should do it for both of us then, because I'm not gonna touch it. Oh, I see. Once I you, see. Once you learn my Pokedex number, you'll understand why. I got a lot of a lot of catching to do, a lot of balls to throw. Oh, I work. see. <laughs> There's the. Um, Pokemon Trainer Fan Club here. Did you talk to them? Yep. They tell you a lot of weird stuff they shouldn't know. <laughs> like what? They talked to you about your character. Yeah, they knew me. All the things you've done. They knew me. 
it was strange. That is very strange. It was like, you stalkers. We meet a gentleman by the name of the Berry Man. Mm-hmm. He's exactly like the Berry Master. He is. In that every day he will give you a new berry. Nice. Oh, my gosh. What? I totally forgot about my berry farm. Oh, no. Oh, God, I hope they're not all dead. I had a lot of rare berries in there. Oh, no. That's okay. I can get them from the berry man again. You're but bad farmer. Uh, I am. I Go should be checking it, right it every now. day. Let's take a break. Go into it right now. No, it's fine. If they're if they're not already dead, then, then logging in isn't going to change uh, the fact that they <laughs> may or may not be dead. That's ridiculous. They're as bad as the Tamagotchi. They are. They are like a Tamagotchi. Which I did an alarming amount of research oh, yeah. on this week. So the berry man will give you a berry every day, and the berry master will give you two berries every day. You just have to visit them. And that is pretty much it for things here, other than the department store. But before we talk mm-hmm. about the department store, we have to talk about the most unfortunate thing in this game. Oh, what? Which is the final rival battle. The final? Yeah, didn't you hear Brendan after we beat him? He said he's going to go back and vi- like hang out with his dad and help him with his research. He's done Pokemon training. He's giving up? He gave up. Isn't that like the most depressing thing? I mean, this this battle was really easy. Exactly. I like one shot all of his Pokemon. Yeah, he's like, wow, you trashed me. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye. And he just gives he up. Gives he up. ruined his dream. Yeah. <gasps> uh, so Brandon has a Swellow, and then depending on who you pick, uh, he had a Whalmer, a Shroomish, and a Combuskin for you, and a Shroomish, a Numel, and a Marsh Tomp for me. N- nothing. No, nothing. No issues. No fight. No. Nope. Poor very, kid. very easy. Uh, I used my uh, my Carvana hinge jaw. I used him for this entire fight. Gross. And uh, I kicked his pants off. Yeah, Jafar yeah. like ate his Pokemon. <laughs> you love that Alakazam. I can't help it. You're so funny. Can't help it. And uh, that is it. For Brendan. That is it for Brendan. We Bye, will B. not see him again. Yeah. It's a uh, wow. Kind of silly. That is strange. Yeah. But does Wally grow up and like do you have to face him again? I, I imagine... don't recall. Oh, okay. I, I don't think so. Because Wally probably takes over being our real rival then if Brendan was a cakewalk. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Strange. Yeah. It sucks. But after we beat them, they move aside and they give us access to the department store. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we go to the rooftop immediately and fill up on that good, good shit, shit lemonade. lemonade. Yes, sir. That's the only thing I got in here. Yeah, I got 20 oh good shit lemonades. Oh, my lord. <laughs> they're so cheap. Yeah, I think I only got six, but I'll be back. Yeah, they're so cheap. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. They're like half the price of a super potion, and they do 30 points extra. Or 20 points extra. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. They do more <laughs> for less. <laughs> they're delicious. They're delicious and nutritious. Yeah. Because they got all that chicken protein in it. Yuck. (laughs) What? I don't know. I hope not. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Oh, boy. Okay. Well. (sighs) I'm expanding the lore of our Good Shit Lemonade premise here. Good Shit Lemonade by Devon Corporation. Devon Corporation. Now all white meat. Now all, <laughs> now all white meat. Oh, jeez. Less chicken heads in each bottle. <clears throat> anyway. There's also the, on the ground floor, I don't know if you did the trainer lotto. No. It's the same thing as the lotto from Johto. Which I didn't do either. No. Uh, so every day the lotto number will change. And if you have any numbers of your trainer ID that match, or like any of your Pokemon have trainer numbers that match the um, the number the lottery. Yeah, of the lottery, mm-hmm. then you get certain items. If you have two digits that match, then you get a PP up. If you have three digits that match, you get another XP share. If you have. You get another XP share? If you have Can a Pokemon you with three digits. Time? Yeah. 
Oh. Uh, if you have four digits that match, then you get a max revive. And if a trainer ID matches the lotto number perfectly, then you get a master ball. Just a free master ball. I want the, e- the XP share. Yeah. Yeah. You only have to have three digits. Well, match. okay, well, I'm hooked. So this was another way that they were like trying to convince you to trade with multiple people and All stuff like that. All my money on red. Let's go. All my money on red. I have an addictive personality, so this will be bad for me. <laughs> uh, we also get access, like I was saying earlier, to Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Hyper Beam, Protect, Safeguard, Reflect, and Light Screen. On the third floor, you can go and buy those items. Oh. Yep. Another, okay, I'm going back to this department store. Let's go shopping. <laughs> uh, so, of course, Fire Blast, Thunder, and Blizzard all have, the I think, the same power. Uh, just, obviously, one is fire, one is electric, and one is ice. Mm, uh, but smart. they also have the same accuracy, which I believe is low. After you beat the Elite Four, if you come back here to the rooftop then you have a chance to find a uh, rooftop sale, which will be for your secret secret base. You can oh. get stuff you can get stuff like fences and doors and walls and TVs and a slide. <laughs> like no. all this Yeah, yeah, you can get all these random things. I still don't even have a base, so that's okay. Yeah. I'm good. I don't either. But uh I don't know. It's cute. It's cool. If I had more time to play this game, I'd probably make a base and like make it all cute and stuff. But. Yeah. But that's for it for Lily Cove. Nice. Yeah. Uh they are like, hey, go find uh the secret base for the hideout of Magma and or Aqua. Team it's Aqua. definitely not here on the coast of Lily Cove. And yeah. You go over there and they're like, hey, what are you doing here in uh, this totally not our hideout? <laughs> uh, you can't be here. Our boss isn't here. Don't go find him in Slateport. Exactly. Yeah. And it's I like, like okay. I like how dumb they are. Yeah. So you go to Slateport Ooh. and they're stealing a submarine. Yeah. It's here. a heist. Yeah. The ultimate heist. You have to go talk to Devin Stern, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, I'm so excited about giving an interview or whatever." And then after he gives his interview, then you hear yelling, but you don't yeah see anything. And then they're like, "That was probably the com- the sub- submarine getting taken or whatever." Yeah, so then you gotta go find them taking the submarine. They're like, "Oh, we beat you. We'll beat you back to our hideout." Yeah. Yeah, uh, Shelly and Courtney are like, hey, we already fucking took the submarine, so too bad, so sad. Bye. And then they leave. And then we fly back to Lily Cove. And they're already here somehow. And uh, we make our way through the first and only rocket base that these guys have. Rocket? Yeah. (gasps) It's a rocket base. It is a rocket base. You're right. I was just surprised you called it a rocket base. Uh, yeah, uh, anytime we come across a base like this, it's going to be it's a, a rocket, rocket base. Yeah, it's course. a rocket hideout. So the Magma Aqua hideout is a it is a, a rocket hideout. It's got the teleporters that you love. That I love so very much. And uh, it's got a lot of secret hidden items and a lot of bad guys to fight. A lot of the same bad guys, though. So. Yep, it's all the same shit. Yeah. They all have Numels and Zubats and Puchianas. Yep. Or Puchinas and... I also beat the crap out of mine, who have Carvanas instead of Numels. Easy <laughs> that's, peasy. That's the only difference. Uh, the only, only, only troubling thing here is the uh, uh, admin. So you have Tabitha, I have Matt. Right. And Tabitha, he has Numel, Mytina, and Camerupt. Yes. And Matt... He has Carvana, Mytina, and uh, a Sharpedo. Strong. Yeah. Very strong. All level 32. Yeah. But we beat them up, and then they're like, oh, shit. Uh, don't go searching our base. The boss is leaving, and you watch the little shadow disappear mm-hmm. as the submarine leaves. Yeah, I thought cute. that's cool. It's, it's a neat little attention to detail that, man... The Game Boy Advance era was such a cool era of gaming. It was like 
So things weren't like obviously nowhere near photorealistic, but it, like it was so such a step up from the uh, the 16 bit era of like the Super Nintendo days and stuff like that. Not that Super Nintendo isn't great. I love Super Classic, Nintendo and yeah. stuff like that, but like this was like a half step up from 16 bit. And yeah. and it was like it's so nostalgic to be seeing all the these like little cheats and stuff that like that they do with the graphics and 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 make it like come make the story come to life you know it's really cool like from from the submarine leaving to even like when the rainstorms kick in and yeah. stuff like that it's it's really, it's really neat, neat to see that stuff I agree uh, if you go and look around you will find a nugget electrodes and the master ball oh i got a nugget i did not get the master ball oh no yeah i was like sitting beside the nugget what yeah there were four balls all together yeah two are electrodes one's a nugget one's a master ball oh that's so dumb because i ran into electrode electrode nugget and i was like i'm not getting the last electrode oh my god okay i'm going back oh no yeah that's the office of Ugh. the magma hideout right okay i'm going back okay uh, you also can get in here a max elixir and a nest ball. Those are the other two items. Mm-hmm. And that's it for the hideout. <laughs> uh, and after you beat the hideout, you uh, realize that there were there was a uh, aqua slash magma grunt that was training Whalmer before you go into the hideout. He was training them to jump. Right. Yes, I remember that guy. But now, after the submarine is gone, he is gone. He jumped. He jumped. Yeah. He jumped over the shark? <laughs> Pito? Sharpedo? Maybe. And uh, now Route 124 is open to us. Mm-hmm. But before we move on to Route 124, I want to make a note about Route 123, which I went down. You haven't gone down it yet, but I just wanted to say that there is a psychic that you run in, into here. Her name is Psychic Jackie, and when you beat her, she tells you, we all have psychic powers, you just can't remember how to use them. I thought that was cool. That's cool, (laughs) Patrick Jane. Patrick Jane. Patrick Jackie. Patrick Jackie. (laughs) Route 124 is completely a water route. Yes, it is. And now you see why uh, IGN gave it a 6.5 out of 10. Too much water. Too much water. <laughs> we run into swimmer Grace Van Pelt out here with a Merrill, a Whalmer, and a Wingull. Sis and bro Rita and Sam with the Chincho and a Carvana. What do you think of Chincho? Strong. And now it now it has a different look, too. It does. It was stronger than I thought it was going to be. Swimmer Spencer with tentacles out Good. the wazoo. Swimmer Jenny has a Whalmer. Swimmer Chad has a Wingle and a Whalmer. And Swimmer Roland has a Carvana. Good training for me. I did a lot of training, a lot of leveling up on here. Is yeah. this where the hunter's house is? Yes. Along this route is route is the, uh, the hunter's house. Okay. I caught some. I caught some Pokemon here. Okay. What'd you catch? I caught a Sharknado. A Sharpedo? Uh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Is his name Sharknado? No. Okay. Uh, I, oh, his name is Jaws. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yep. yeah, I caught a Sharknado. I couldn't remember what it's called. The shark, shark thing. I caught a Whalmer. Yeah? Yeah. What did you name him? Ursula. Because I'm never catching a tentacle. And Ursula's the perfect villain name. What? You said you're never catching a tentacle. I'm never I, catching I, a tentacle. I, I'm crying. Why are you crying? They're so terrible. No, they're amazing. I hate them. I really like mine. We can have different opinions <laughs> on Pokemon. I'm going to beat you up with the tentacruel and then yeah, you will learn like, to love it. I will love to see that day. <laughs> anyway, yeah. My Whalmer is Ursula. I also call a Whalmer here. Oh. And his name is Smiley. Oh, cute, because he's smiling. Mm-hmm. He's so happy. But uh, that is the only thing I caught in this area. Mm -hmm. Then I was going down Route 125, like, a whole way down. It sounds like a country song. I was going down Route (laughs) 125, the whole way down. That's true. It does sound like that. Because I wanted... I I couldn't remember what was down this way. And uh, I ran into... A character known as triathlete Caitlin 
and she said some weird shit about how. <laughs> No, I'm serious. She like I, 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 I couldn't remember exactly how it went, so I wrote down what I remembered, but it was something like my blue shattered heart is mended through swimming. What? And then after you beat her, she says the world's children dream of becoming Pokemon masters. I'm so confused. And that's like the only thing that she says after you beat her. The world's children dream of becoming Pokemon masters. And I was wow. like, I wrote down, what is this lady's damage? <laughs> What's your damage? What's your damage? Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez, like, yikes. That's I don't know. She just seemed like so, strange. like my blue shattered heart is mended through swimming. And it's like, what? Okay, chill. <laughs> I just want to battle. Also, not far from her, there was another triathlete guy who was like, wow, I'm surprised to see a trainer out here. And I'm like, Pokemon. she's like 14 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, so uh, not much else down here other than the, the hunter's house. Uh -huh. Did you go talk to the hunter? Mm -hmm. Did you? Y yeah. Yeah. But he doesn't want anything to do with us yet. No. Not until you come back with shards. Yeah, I don't have any shards. No. So that's the treasure hunting I was telling you about. Okay. You will find items when you dive. Sometimes there'll be items like pee, pee ups and stuff like that, and sometimes there'll be items like shards. Okay. And shards are like little bits of, of broken... Hearts. Blue hearts. Artifacts and stuff like that. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> little broken blue hearts, exactly, okay. from triathletes who are dreaming about becoming Pokemon Masters or whatever. Uh, if you take them back to him, you, he will give you a corresponding evolution stone. So for green shards, he gives you oh, leaf fair. stones. Okay, cool. For yellow shards, he gives you thunderstones. Got that sort of stuff. it. So this is a way that you can, like, recurringly get... Uh, the evolution stones not that we need them because mm -hmm. neither of us have any pokemon that evolve through stone except for my oddish i guess oh right i forgot on route 123 i caught a gloom and i just kept its name gloom and i also caught a manectric when i went back down through route 118 oh yeah and i kept its name manectric because i'm so not going to use them. either of them no. that's fair but if i wanted to uh i i could use the leaf stone on gloom turn it into a vile plume. But mm -hmm. other than that, not a lot of use for the evolution stones right now. Cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the water stone eventually, but not for now. Then we head over to Shoal Cave, or did you? I did. Yeah. yeah? That was the next did? thing I did was Shoal Cave. Okay, good. So Shoal Cave is pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> I, I really like this uh, whole thing where you, depending on the time of day you come, mm -hmm. the tide will be at a different height. I didn't finish this because all the tide was high every time I went in there, so I couldn't get all the things. The tide was high, but you're moving on. Oh, God. You're going to be my number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Song lyrics, yes. <laughs> you're so cute. So the only thing I did in here was I caught some shells. Right? Shells? I got some shells, yeah. and then I got a sveal. Yeah? Yeah. Who did you name him? Sveal. Oh. Because I'm not going to use him. Really? Probably not. He's so cute. Oh. Yeah, he's cute. He's adorable, but no room on my team for him. I caught a sveal as well. What'd you name him? I named him Cute Ball. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a cute ball, he... but he's a cute oh ball. Oh, God. That's perfect. <laughs> you win this round. Did and, you get uh, all the shells and the stuff for the guy? No, I, I am missing a salt. Yeah, That's okay, it. so I got shells, but I didn't get salt. I'm missing one salt. I've got four shells and three salts. Oof. You need four of each. Oof, yeah. I got four shells, but yeah, the tide was still too high for me. So, so when you get all the shells, do you want to know? Yeah, what does he give you? So he makes you something called a shoal bell. Or shell bell? Belt? Bell? Shell bell. Okay. And the shell bell is a move or an item that you give to one of your Pokemon, and then whenever they do a damaging move, like tackle anything, or whatever, yeah. anything that damages, yeah. uh, then they will get a little bit of that damage back as health. Okay, that's useful. Yeah, I wish I had especially for, for your Alakazam. All the Pokemon because Alakazam uses Psychic. 
whatever damage he does, he gets an eighth of that health back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I do want that then. I will go get that. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I didn't get it. I do want it, just because it's, it's useful. But, uh... Yeah, I only caught this feel. Mm -hmm. There is another Pokemon in here that's kind of cute, but not very useful. It's called Snow Rent. Never heard of it. But you have to get to the third basement level to get to it, oh. which means you have to come back at low tide. So when we first entered the, the cave, it was at high tide. Yeah. That's why we could only go so far in. When I went in, it was at extremely low tide where it's like... Like, all the water is gone. Yeah. But if you come in when it's at low tide, where it's, like, between high tide and extremely low tide, then you can get to the third basement level, which is all ice, and you'll run into snow runts, cool. which are these little guys that look like they're in snow jackets. Oh, cute. Yeah. That's they cool. evolve into something called a glalie, though, and that is terrifying. Look up glalie and see if you would run it. <laughs> I can't reach. Sorry. Can you... Nope. <laughs> nope. That looks like a scary ball, Aaron. Yep. It is an ice ball. Actually, did we see those on the Pokemon show? Maybe. Yep. Probably. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were in the mountains the and they were thing. looking yeah. they were yeah, looking yeah. for something and they were they were running around freezing everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Weird. They look neat. Yeah. Speaking of weird evolutions, my ghost evolved. Your oh, your Shepet into a Bannet. Yes, Shepet evolved oh, into Bayonet. It's ugly. Yeah. Yeah, I got boxed right away. Oh, you didn't continue using it? No. It's so strong. I have other things on my team that are stronger. Okay. Anyway, then the next thing I did was I went to the science world. Yeah. yeah. And I got a stone. Yeah? And that's it. What stone? I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember what you get from the space center. <laughs> Sunstone. Sunstone. So I you thought can, I got a moonstone. You can evolve... Uh, Gloom into Blossom if you want. Nah, I'm good. Or Sun Kern into a Sun Flora. Mm, cool. <laughs> yeah, no good. Uh, we find Stephen Devin Stone's house here. We do? Yeah, did you not? I don't know. Yeah, you, you walk in and he's like, hey, welcome to my house. Uh, here's Dive. See ya. No? Okay, yeah. Oh, no, yes, I yeah, did. Because okay. I got Dive. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, he, he gives it to you when you go into his house. Yeah, weirdo. He's got a whole bunch of rare stones, rare stones, they say, all around his house. It's weird. Uh, there's also a little boy here on the island. He's called the secret base boy because yeah. if you have a secret base, he will tell you where it is. It's so you can always remember where your secret base is. That's fair. Yeah, because they're pretty easy to, to lose. There's also a Pokeblock enthusiast who will tell you, based on your Pokemon's personality and nature, what Pokeblock would be best for it. Like, what Pokeblock gives it the highest boost. Did you find out? No. Oh. Because I don't care. I'm, I'm, You're I'm, just cool. The Pokemon that I'm feeding Pokeblocks to need specific ones regardless of what their favorite is. My Swellow needs cool, and my Feebas needs beautiful, so. Fair. Those are the only two that I'm feeding Pokeblocks to. Maybe if I take the contest more seriously in this next stretch, I'll use him, but. Where do you get a Feebas? Because I kind of want one. I want to try this. <laughs> oh, right, never mind. This is the the river where it only comes out, like, once every, what, five or six? It's in six squares oh, out of my. the entire river. Oh, my God. Yeah. Never mind. Next gen. <laughs> no, not maybe. Next gen. Probably not. Um, one time in my life, I'll catch one. That's all I did. Then I went to the gym. There is a something called the back door house. <laughs> yep, I know. <laughs> I. <laughs> it gets worse. This guy who's in the back door house is my versus seeker. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. The um, back door house is my is my stranger danger. I'm going to read you what he says to you when you talk to him. Now that I've become an old buzzard, my only amusement is watching young trainers battle. No. Mm -hmm. Ooh, stranger danger. So it's an interesting concept, the back door house. 
<laughs> I'd say. Because uh, what it is is there were these this thing developed for the Game Boy Advance called the e reader. Okay. And so the e reader was supposed to you were like going to get uh, special cards. Actually, I should double check and make sure that this is how it worked for. Can take Pokemon. a break and. Okay. So the Game Boy Advance had a neat little peripheral called the e reader, which was something that plugged into the game slot. And uh, then you would plug the game in on top, I think I is how it worked. This. And then you swiped cards through it and it would load things into your game cartridge. Or maybe it would store it locally on the e-reader. I don't remember exactly how the e-reader works, but that's that's what you did is you swiped cards through it like a like a bank machine. I kind of remember this thing. So that's like a really cool concept and it also like birthed like a lot of really cool uh, game mechanics and stuff like that. But in this particular game, you got battle E cards is what they're called. So okay. there was there was a couple series that you could collect. Uh, you would get them in like little collector's packs and stuff Neat. like that. You would open them up and they'd come out and you'd get like a couple cards and it would take a couple packs to... It was kind of like a, like a very minuscule version of a trading card game where you were trying to collect all the pieces of That's the sets. Cool. And... Uh, in the sets, though, you could get berries, items, and uh, trainers. And so the berry cards, obviously, you would swipe, and then it would give you like a little box of, of berries mm-hmm. to, to boost your Pokeblock experience and stuff like that. The trainer battles, though, on the other hand, you would swipe the trainers, and then they would go into this backdoor house. And the backdoor house would... Uh, act as like a like a save point for these trainers. You could only load one trainer into the game at a time. Okay. And you would go fight them, and they would have like these different levels. So there would be like green trainers and blue trainers and gold trainers, and the gold trainers were the hardest. Right. And they were always they were called target trainers, and they would have all like teams of level one hundred Pokemon. So they'd Jeez. be hard to fight. Yeah. That's so cool. So that's what the backdoor house is. That's for. what the backdoor house is. And uh, some of the trainers would be like marked like with this little symbol that would mean that they had rare Pokemon, which are Pokemon that are hard to find in the game, or Pokemon that don't even appear in the Hoenn Pokedex. So nice. they would have like Charizard and stuff like that. Oh, cool. Yeah. So oh, that's, a neat that's what the backdoor house was for. But oh my God, what a what a set dressing Strange, for yeah. this interesting mechanic. Yeah, and then it's obviously weird. we we can't do any. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe we could cheat it. I don't know. The emulator might be able to to push these trainer battles in we'll this e reader trainer that, battles. That would be interesting. That would be interesting to explore. But that would be post Elite Four. Oh I yeah, think. absolutely. But, uh, yeah, so that's the backdoor house. <laughs> kind of messed up. Y- backdoor, yeah, a little bit messed up. Uh, it's replaced in Emerald. So it's only in Ruby and Sapphire. Oh, it's really? replaced in Emerald with, uh, with something called the Game Corner. The Game Corner? The Game Corner, corner. yeah. Uh, but what the Game Corner did is you could play with people who had Fire Red and Leaf Green. Because oh, okay. Emerald came out a little after Fire Red and Leaf Green did. Emerald is the director's cut of Ruby and Sapphire. Right. Uh, A lot of things were actually changed in Emerald from Ruby and Sapphire. Like, instead of contest halls, they had battle halls. There was only one contest hall in all of Emerald. Oh, cool. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Did you find the lady with the wingle? You're going to have to be more specific. Okay. There's a lady with a wingle, and when you talk to her wingle, it it fucks off. Oh, it flies away. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. I don't know if you know this, but you have to go back to Fortree City now. And get the wingle. And get the wingle. Nobody wingle. told me this. And uh, when you do, uh, the guy in Fortress City who it went to uh-huh. will give you something called a mental herb. Okay, is this worth it? What does a mental nope. herb do? Okay. Pointless. All it does is it's a hold item that will cure infatuation once, and then it goes away. Okay, whatever. Yeah. I, there are no Pokemon trainers here who use Attract, so it would have been useful against your mill tank, and that's it. Oh. <laughs> Well, okay. We're not going to do anything then. No. Um, you also get the super rod here. Mm-hmm. I got a super rod. Okay. Boy, did I ever get a super rod. Uh, and then you get the king's rock here as well. Mm-hmm. But neither of those are super important right now. So we will talk about 
the gym. Let's do it. Yeah? What did you think of this gym? What do you think I thought of this gym? I think that you had a little bit of fun, even though it took you a while to figure out. I was, I went in there and I was like, oh my god, portals, no wait, moving floors, okay, we can do this. But then there were switches on top of the moving floors, so the first like couple minutes, I was like, oh, I made my way through, yeah, I found all of the trainers, and then no, there was more trainers, and I couldn't flip the switches properly, so I got kind of frustrated with it, but it was, it was cool, like, I, I liked it. It just took me a while to figure out, and I had to kind of sit there and look at where they were going and switch the switches and figure out my way. So it was a fun puzzle. This was one of the most interesting puzzles that I found in the game. So I did I did have fun with it. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? You, you, you had more fun with it than Flannery's gym. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like this gym. For some reason, I didn't remember it at all. No. I remembered all the other gyms here. Couldn't remember this one at all. Oh, that's funny. Which is super funny uh, because I've even like sort of played... Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire recently, like sort of recently, like when it came out, so whatever that was, six years ago, seven years ago, <laughs> something like that. Man, actually, it might be longer than that. Yeah, I think so. Holy crap. Maybe I haven't played it that recently. Anyway, point is, I forgot this gym completely where I remembered the other one. That's so funny. That is it funny. It didn't take you long to go through it, though. <clears throat> no. I because I was trying to fight all the trainers, so I was doing the walk path instead of the the treadmill. There's a walk path. Yeah, yeah, that's how you get to all the switches. What you could have just walked through this path, yep. through this gym instead of going on the. Yeah, no, you didn't have to do the treadmill at all. Are you kidding? Nope, no, that's what I did. I walked right into the walk path, fought all the trainers, flipped all the switches, then I went back to the beginning, stepped on the treadmill, and I went right to the the leaders. I was using the stupid treadmill to get to the trainers. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I'm serious. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, use, I didn't see a walk path. I used the fucking moving floors to get to each trainer. Yeah. I got really confused when I couldn't make it to one trainer, so I missed one. Oh, because no. I couldn't get to them. Oh, that's Because I couldn't okay. flip any switch to get to her. That's okay. Oh, my God. Continue, please. <laughs> no problem. So I'm going to talk about the trainers, and then we will talk about our Pokemon, and then we'll talk about the leaders. leaders. And you did not mishear me. There are leaders yeah. in this one. The first one, and I think the only one, to feature two trainers as the leaders. Nice. The trainers that we encounter in the gym are Psychic Preston, Psychic Mora, Psychic Samantha, Psychic Fritz, Psychic Virgil, and Psychic Hannah. Can you guess what type this gym is? The mm, Moss Deep City Gym. Psychic. No, it's Dark Type. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yes, of course it's Psychic. They all have Curlias and Kadabras, except for Fritz, who has a Girafferig, a Kadabra, and a Natu. And Psychic Samantha. Now, this Pokemon, I called the entire, uh, for my entire life, but also the entire last generation of Zaytu. Uh -huh. It's the evolution of Natu. I found out that that is not how you pronounce it. Uh-oh. Yeah, so I have a correction uh, for my entire for life. life. It's so actually pronounced K2. What? K2. Really? Yes. I didn't know this. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Because of its influence uh, in... Uh, not only native cultures, but also because of its South American, like ancient South yeah, American yeah, yeah. Re uh, Text. influence, influence yeah. it is pronounced K2. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Even like, you didn't know that watching the movies and shows? and I don't know that I ever saw it in the show. I don't know that they call it that the in the show, but, but the... the, the we we'll have to look into that. The, that is very interesting. The guy who named the Pokemon, mm -hmm. uh, like, like localized it, named it after a very specific thing, and that thing was called a Kate. So. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's K2. But yeah, so uh, Psychic Samantha has one K2, and it's level 37. Strong. Strong. But kicked its butt anyway. Yeah. I had, I didn't have much trouble with any of the trainers here, except... Let me just go through. <laughs> no, this is where I learned that my jaws, my Sharknado, 
Yeah. Sharpedo. Yeah. <laughs> it's super strong. Yeah. Super strong. Like, it dominated most of these guys, and it killed some guys' cadabra. I was like, what? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. That's my takeaway from the trainers in this gym. I have a fish, and it's very strong. <laughs> We're going to take a break before we talk about the leader. So we will be right back with Pokemon Center check-in. Welcome back, Welcome Pokemon back. Master Jaylee. Welcome back, Pokefans and Pokemaniacs. Welcome back, Mackie. We are going to talk about our Poke teams this week. The teams that took us through this entire gym and dragged us over the finish line mm-hmm. to the end here. And I will tell you, since I'm going first, that when I found out that it was a tag team that we were going to be fighting this week, yep. I knew that as a superhero, <laughs> sometimes you have to turn to the dark to see the light Uh-oh. for what it truly is. What? Oh, no. So I turned to two anti-heroes this <gasps> week to help me out. Oh, boy. My team... To fight these, this group, which are Tate and Liza, were Hinge Jaw, my Sharpedo, and Pokey, my Cacturn. What's a Cacturn? It is an evolved Cacnea. Ew. Yeah. So my Cacturn and my Sharpedo, both of which, one being Water Dark and the other being Grass Dark. How? Amazing. Or how I beat Tate and Liza. That's amazing. And uh, then, of course, I also had other Pokemon with me. They didn't see any action, though. They are Brave Bird. Oh, sorry. I should say Hinge Jaw, level 38. Pokey, level 38. But I also have Brave Bird. Damn. Brave Bird, my level 39 Swallow. Wow. Pit Crew, my level 39 Vibrava. Seer, my level 39 Gardevoir. And I also brought in, but of course didn't use, Crystallize, my level 23 Sableye. Oh, really? Wow, yeah. they're very strong. Yeah. Your your Pokemon are level leveled up. Uh, other than Crystallize, yeah. There's what only the heck? Poetry. This little dinosaur evolves into a bug? Yeah. He is a bug. He's an antlion, didn't you know? No, I thought he was a dinosaur. No, he's an antlion that turns into a damsel. I named him Sharptooth. He's a dinosaur. He's not a dinosaur. He's an antlion. He's getting boxed. Look up antlion. No, I'm good. No. Oh. He's getting boxed. That's so sad for him. Yeah, that's He's okay. so strong. Continue with your... You're going to regret it. That's okay. <laughs> You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it when you, you know. don't have an a- answer to my pit crew. That's okay. I just need to beat your tentacruel, and that's all I care about. Oh, well, my tentacruel is going to beat you, too. Anyway. Tentacruel and... and, and uh, Vibrava's evolution. They're going to kick your bum. I look forward to it. <laughs> you have a good solid team. They're very, very high level. Mine are not that high. No? No. I do have a correction of my own to make, sure. though. I said I boxed my ghost thing. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, good. I leveled it up and I kept it, and he's strong. Yeah. So. He would have helped you against Tate and Liza. Yes. Kay. Yes. I have on my team Iago, <clears throat> my burb, my solo, level 34. Jaws, my Sharknado, Sharpedo, level 34. Bellatrix, my Skarmory, level 35. Twitch, my Pikachu, level 35. Nurse. Oh, he's already 35? <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. I've been leveling. I love Pikachu. You know me. I've been leveling, leveling him up like crazy. You're not going to evolve him, are you? No. Oh my gosh. I know. I love Pikachu too much. Narcissa, my ghost thing. The ugly thing. Um, Bayonet? Bayonet. Level 38. Yeah. And Jafar, my Alexam. 43. Drum roll, please. Level 43. Whoa, really? Yeah. Oh, that's good a good guess. guess. Good guess. Yeah. Um, for the... I'm sorry to roll over your drum roll. <laughs> that's okay. You were the drum roll. Uh, for the twins, Yeah. I used Jafar and Ghosty Thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, amazing. Like, great team. Yeah. Tate and Liza. Easy peasy with those guys. Tate and Liza have a Lunatone and a Soul Rock. Mm-hmm. Level 42 each. 
<laughs> yeah. I was like, oh shit, that's actually like way higher than like thirty seven was the K two. And that was the that's the second highest level that is in that gym. I was surprised that they were so high. Yeah. I have a lot of leveling up to do, especially because we're almost like through this game. Yeah. Like four that. four level difference from like the to my Pokemon. But Hinge Jaw and Cacturn were both or I said Hinge Jaw and Cacturn, one one nickname, one regular name. Hinge Jaw and Pokey, mm-hmm. Sharpedo and Cacturn, they uh were much faster. Much faster oh, than both. Yeah. I found that too. So it was actually kind of easy for them to take out these these two, especially because I can't even remember what they were using. I think one of them used Levitate, which doesn't make... S- no, not Levitate. Uh, sorry. Um, hypnosis? They have Levitate, so you can't use ground moves against them. But uh, one of them used Hypnosis, and it missed, and then I faint attacked with uh, my Cacturn, and I crunched with my Sharpedo, and it just instantly took out whatever one was trying to use Hypnosis, nice. and then... The other one uh, was out in the next turn. Like, it was it was so quick and so fast. Mine too. But yeah, that's similar. So quick and so fast. So quick and so easy so is quick what and I so meant. Fast. So quick and so easy is what I meant. But yeah, it was... Um, what a pair. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get their names? Tate and Liza? No. It's pretty... It's a stretch, but they're levitate. Tate and Liza. Liza Tate. No, that's dumb. Yeah, it is. I don't, I don't think that's right. But that is their names. It's dumb. Tate and Liza. I called her L- Liza. I thought, yeah, I thought it was Liza. When I first Lisa. met her. But it's it's definitely Liza because the, the pun is, is that they, are, they mean levitate. That's why both of their Pokemon have levitate as an ability. Why didn't they name her like Leva? I don't know. Or Levi. Levi yeah. and Tate should have been their names, Levitate. right? Levitate, yeah. But no, it's Liza Tate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know. Weird. It's strange. lame. It's, it's lame. Dumb. It should and have it's been over. it should have been Le- Levi. We're, like the guy should have been Levi and yeah. she should have been Tate. Instead yeah. We're of We're better writers. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. In Japanese, I think their name is like kind of like hocus pocus or something like that like like it's not actually hocus pocus but i think that's like what their name is like meant to Im- okay. imply um but here let me actually look it up so their name in japanese is actually fu and lan which means wind orchid oh cool yeah that's different yeah but also fu uh was like it's like a like a ninpo command that also would mean to levitate. So it's like, I don't know. It, it, it's complicated. Yeah, it's a far <laughs> but, stretch. Yeah. yeah. My Pokedex is not impressive. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I've seen 114 and I own 47. So I think I need to go back to the Safari Zone. I need to get into the grass. I, I gotta do some catching. 47 is not bad. That's a little less than half of your goal. Yeah. And you have two whole weeks to, <laughs> to catch up. Okay. We well, got a lot of diving to do. We'll catch some Pokemon, Pokemon doing it. Okay, no tentacles though. What's your Pokedex? Uh, I've got 128 seen and 82 caught. Dang, you're closer to my goal. I like it. Let's yeah. switch numbers. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll give you some Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just trade a bunch. Did I miss any Pokemon here? Let's see. Emo Man, Manectric, Smiley, Cute Ball, Mimic You, Oddish, Cast Form, Gloom, Goldeen, Palandin, Lafont, Flitter, Hokey, Carmine. Nope. Got them I all. I told you everything that I caught this week. Nice. Nice. Uh, also, my time. Uh, 60... It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work, but it's 67. Doesn't work. 67 on the dot. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to bring up a Pokemon, and you're going to tell me who it is. What is that? That's a bird. Yes, what is it? Um, That's the Zaytu that's not called Zaytu. Yes, it's K2. K2. You're right. It's cute. Tell yeah. me all about him. Okay. Now it's obvious why I know what his oh, name is. Oh, that's where you're going. Yeah. So, <clears throat> K2, also known as Natio. It's it's pre-evolution in Japanese as Neiti, 
And so when it evolves, it becomes Natio. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, okay. But it, in of, of course, in English, it's Natu into K2. Anyway, it is the mystic Pokemon. It is a psychic and flying type. K2's base stat total is 470, which is far from powerful, but its a special attack and speed are both tied at 95, and they make it feasible as a usable Pokemon in a competitive sense, because those are fairly decent. K2 seems to be based on a resplendent Quetzal, or perhaps a Kakapo, which is a large flightless parrot found mainly in the New Zealand island chain. It has design elements similar to a cat, or Kate, sorry, which is a word in some languages that is used for a Native American totem pole. Okay. And that's spelled X-A-T, by the way. Oh, I just looked up a Quetzal because that seemed like you made up that word, but they're adorable oh. birds. Yeah, they are. They're cute. Look up a Kakapo, too. They're a, a type of parrot. They're the only flightless parrot. Oh, it's the fluffy. Yeah. He looks like a monkey. Yeah, his, kind of, his right? His face is like a monkey. It, it, it also, its eyes are like kind of like blown Strange. out, hey? Yeah. Like it, and I think that's where they got like the, the oh, that makes staring sense. at the sun thing. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, so it's it's maybe based on a Quetzal, maybe based on a Kakapo, uh, but it's definitely based on a Kate, uh, the North American totem, uh, mm-hmm. North American native totem poles, which are like either celebrations of life or celebrations of death. They they have like many many different meanings. They also were sometimes used as like guides to the spirit world. Sometimes they were used like defensively, like as in like mm-hmm. good luck for an area or like you know, warding off bad vibes. <laughs> but they also could be uh, based on Kachina dolls because of the markings on their feathers and things like that. And Kachina dolls are uh, representatives of spirits in some South American uh, customs and things like that. Cool. Behaviorally, it displays the ancient art of sun gazing, which is a form of spiritual meditation pra- practiced by the Aztec and Mayan people. In, it, in their belief, it would have given them supernatural power. And this is referenced by the fact that K2 is part psychic. Neat. The Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Pokedex entries appear to confess contradictory behaviors about K2. Ultra Sun says, It's said that while this Pokemon has the power to predict the future, it's not powerful enough to change the future it sees. While Ultra Moon states, While it can see the future, it has no desire to change it, which is probably why it remains motionless at all times. Motionless? Yeah. Cool. But I like how... Ultra Sun is like, oh, it's so sad. It's tragic. It can see the future, but it can't change anything. And then Ultra Moon's like, yeah, it sees the future, but it f- it's like, fuck the future, man. Care. I don't give a shit. It doesn't care. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Loving the Pokedex entries. Yeah, thank you. I have a little Poke quiz for you. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Just a really, really quick one. No problem. Which Pokemon weighs mm-hmm. 130 pounds and has the abilities Water Veil and Oblivious? Is that all I get? That's okay. all you get. Water Veil and Oblivious weighs 130 pounds. Yeah, it's a big boy. Uh, is it Whalmer? It is Whalmer! Nice! Okay. Oh, that was fun. I yeah, like that. Yeah, you are a Pokemon master. Congratulations. Thank you. I, I Yeah, that was actually tougher than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I did my research. Well, That's a little awesome. Bit. Literally one Google. So, yeah. Well, it's okay. We'll do more questions. No, that like was that, great. Okay, cool. I like that. Nice. That was fun. Well, thank Maybe you. Maybe on for... our Patreon, we'll add a couple more quizzes. That could be fun. That could be fun. Next week, we will be playing until the Sutopolis Gym. The what? Sutopolis Gym. Sutopolis. Sutopolis is the next city that we're headed to. Well, Pacific Bulg is the next one that we're going to, but. Sutopolis is where we're going to wind up. Strange. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sounds interesting. This week has been fun, so I hope next week is fun. And I hope you all are having fun listening to us. Thank you so much for listening this week. We appreciate all of the love and support. Please help us grow by sharing with friends and family. 
Uh, they can find our podcast on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and most other podcatchers. Also, please like and subscribe to us on Instagram and Patreon at Route to Victory Road Podcast for exclusive behind the scenes content. Mac and I really want to grow and find ourselves on YouTube as well in the near future. With your help, we can make all of our Pokemon dreams a reality and share everything we love about playing these games. Mm-hmm. 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 We're, we're giving thumbs up to thumbs each other up. from Sons of the Forest. Your, your <laughs> side character will will sometimes give you things and then go, mm-hmm, and give you a mm-hmm. thumbs up. Our Poke quote this week comes from a lady in Pokemon Platinum. And uh, she says, Pokemon, people, it's only natural that we are all so very different. Make sure that you never judge a Pokemon on if it's weak or strong. You must always look for the good inside of them. That's what counts. But people, who cares? True. Poke people. Poke people. <laughs> uh, so that uh, I wanted to bring that up because that's why I use Sharpedo and Cacturn. Even though they're dark types, they can be good too. They can be good. You can't judge a book by its cover <laughs> or a Pokemon by its typing. I like it. <laughs> uh, have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next Friday. And we'll see you next time on the route to Victory Road. We have a lot to talk about still before the gym. Oh my god. Route 124. Let's go. Let's get it off. Is. Never mind. Cut that.